there's a bad SmackDown, and there's a SmackDown ending with Carmella winning the number one contenders match. This may sound like a joke, but we're getting Roman Reigns vs King Corbin again. We're getting it again. People, I would not care about this match if it happened in my backyard. I would call the cops. It should be a meme at this point, but I believe it's so bad, people don't find it funny at all. What happened to SmackDown? It used to be my favorite show, it used to be the only wrestling show that I actually enjoyed because Raw was horrendous and now people it's the other way around. I honestly believe that Monday Night Raw is the best WWE show at the moment. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, but we got Goldberg on the screen, which is not the same. If the coward wants to have one more match, he's got it. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Greatness of SmackDown. How are you guys doing today? I could be doing a little bit better because this video was actually supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but I've got this horrible stomach pain to the point that I felt like I'm going to need to go to the hospital. But thankfully, after 10 hours, I felt better. So, yeah man, the pain was horrible. And to be honest people, I think SmackDown is the reason it was this bad. Boring repetitive and we felt like this rivalry is finally over seems like it's not and super showdown is not happening next week so we are going to have to watch this rivalry for like four weeks that sucks anyway people let's talk about smackdown because the show kicks off with the miz and john Morrison. And we finally got the return of the dirt sheet. They showed us a parody of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and this was great man, like wow. I think it was a recreation of the trailer and they absolutely nailed it. John Morrison played the role of Brad Pitt and The Miz played the role of DiCaprio. And of course people, the highlight of this and the highlight of the show, Mr. Miz. Mr. Miz was in this video and that's the only reason why SmackDown is getting an extra point. So that was actually very funny, really liked it, they made fun of the New Day, you get the point. The parody was great, it's funny because I've just seen that movie like a couple of days ago and oh boy is it bad, the acting is good, the visuals are amazing, the plot, the, everything else was just one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Of course we got the New Day, they argue, they mention how Mr. Miz likes Kofi more than Miz, and they're basically laughing at the number one contenders. Miz and Morrison say that they run through every single SmackDown tag team, and then we got the Usos, because obviously they didn't beat the Usos. Then we got Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler and for some reason this ended up being Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode versus the Usos. Now once I heard Dolph Ziggler's music I completely forgot that he's in a tag team with Bobby Roode and I was like it would be a great faction to have Miz, Morrison and Ziggler but obviously it was not the case we got the match actually pretty good but it was predictable because obviously the Usos won the match. So at the end of the day this match did absolutely nothing. Now at WWE Super Showdown we are getting the New Day vs Miz and Morrison for the tag team championships. Maybe this match basically told us there is a possibility for a triple threat tag team match which I would not mind as long as Miz and Morrison would win the match because that's the only way I would care about this division. Like, I'm not saying that the tag team division is bad, it's very good. But the New Day as tag team champions is something that I've seen for like 5 years already and I want a change, people. I really want a change. They showed a clip of Baron Corbin eating dog food and that made Baron Corbin angry. Because you see, people, there's no such a thing as YouTube, WWE Network, so that was the only way people could find Baron Corbin eating food. So Baron Corbin has a point. So he beats the crap of the production guy. Very reasonable man. This segment kind of reminded me of that Ryback gimmick we had. Yeah! I cannot believe that this rivalry is still happening. That's the reason why SmackDown sucks, people. Elias wanted to perform his latest song called Third Times a Charm, but he got interrupted by Sami Zayn. Sami says it doesn't feel good to be interrupted, huh? Elias says it's a miracle when somebody doesn't interrupt me. This basically leads to Cesaro versus Elias. Not something I really cared about. I'm pretty sure most of you guys felt the same way. Elias takes the W because Cesaro never takes the W. We have Kurt Hawkins, we have Zack Ryder, we have a lot of WWE. WWE superstars, who, who could be labeled jobbers? I feel like the biggest jobber of them all right now is Cesaro. 
The guy, I don't, I don't remember the last time the guy won. King Corbin comes out to the stage with a microphone and he's still pissed. He says he's the king and everyone needs to bow down. He got angry at a guy wearing a Roman Reigns t-shirt and poured some drink on his head. And then we got a brawl. And of course, people Roman suggests that they need a one more match. No, you don't. Please don't have a single match again. And I was like, okay, one more SmackDown. But then I realized it's not happening at SmackDown. It's happening at WWE Super Showdown. So four or three more weeks of this garbage. Obviously, one of the highlights of the show was Goldberg and Bray Wyatt segment. So Goldberg challenges the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt interrupts. Bray Wyatt obviously accepts the challenge. And we are getting Bray Wyatt versus Goldberg at WWE Super Showdown. A lot of people take issue with the match. I don't care. I'm kinda excited. I mean, it's Goldberg versus Bray Wyatt. Very random. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Obviously, uh, Goldberg is not gonna win the championship. But that, in my opinion, kinda hurts his credibility. When was the last time Goldberg won a match? Like, every match he had lately, he lost. So, is he, does he really have any credibility anymore? And how does he deserve the title shot? I, I hate when WWE doesn't explain anything. If Goldberg can challenge for the championship, why cannot Kurt Hawkins challenge Bray Wyatt for the championship in kayfabe? It's weird, it's really weird. Anyways, we're getting the match, I'm kinda excited, mostly for the view, you know, the way it's going to look, the face-off, the match is not going to be very good, but since we have Goldberg and Bray Wyatt, we're most likely getting a cool moment, the match itself is going to be crappy. We see Daniel Bryan backstage and he gets approached by Heath Slater, and he's basically talking about The Fiend, bringing up the memories, and of course, Daniel Bryan is not happy about it. Remember that time The Fiend beaten the crap out of you? That was crazy. What do you do? You punch that guy in the face, and that's exactly what happened because Daniel Bryan suggested a match. We got Daniel Bryan vs Heath Slater, and Daniel Bryan beating the living crap out of Heath Slater. Like, he hit a finisher, he wasn't done. Obviously, he was wrestling like a heel, because you see people, once Bray Wyatt beats someone, that wrestler turns heel. Will that happen with Goldberg? I really don't think so. But you guys get the point. So, I don't know whether Daniel Bryan is going to turn heel fully, but in the ring as of right now, he's acting like a heel. I mean, he just turned babyface. I wouldn't want to see Daniel Bryan as a heel again already. So, we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen. We got a Braun Strowman interview. He's happy to be your new intercontinental champion. Of course, he gets interrupted by Sami, Shinsuke, Cesaro, Revival, and all of that sorts of crap. He was pretty dominant, but then we got a Kinshasa, so... Ugh. Another rivalry that just needs to end. This seriously needs to end. If you want us to care about Braun Strowman as a champion, give him a completely different challenger. This rivalry was dead before it began. We saw a funny segment of Otis preparing for uh, Valentine's Day. I don't take this storyline seriously, neither should you. And I don't mind it. You know, I like variety. We need more different stuff on WWE programming. Let's be honest, we do see some variety on Raw. We see that on SmackDown. The only show where we don't see any variety is NXT, and that's my biggest problem. We got the absolute burial of Apollo Crews, so we got Sheamus vs. Crews, and the man gets beaten in like a couple of moves. Wow. That was... wow. Like, honestly, in like under a minute. I was shocked, man. I was seriously shocked. This guy is talented. I, I, I have no idea why. After the match, Sheamus looks to deliver another bro kick, but gets interrupted by Shorty G. You're telling me that Shorty G is way stronger than Apollo Crews? Okay. And of course, in the main event, we got the number one contender's fatal four-way match. Alexa Bliss vs. Carmella vs. Dana Brooke vs. Naomi. I don't wanna see any of these women win except Naomi. Wow. The funny thing is, people... Naomi took the pin. So I was watching this match and I'm like, okay, I'm fine with Naomi and Alexa Bliss. As long as it's not Dana Brooke and Carmella. Like seriously, people. I hope it's not the case. Well, not only Carmella wins the match, Naomi takes the pin. So, I'm lost. 
Who honestly wants to see that match? Bailey versus Carmella? Is that main event? Is that superstars? What is happening right here? And that's probably going to happen at WWE Super Showdown. Uh, obviously not WrestleMania. And maybe it's good in a way, kinda. It's just something that I feel most people are not going to care about. You know, the WWE Super Showdown is poor man's WrestleMania. Or someone in the comments actually said rich man's WrestleMania. I would expect a bigger match. I don't know, man. SmackDown is so disappointing lately. And it's crazy because SmackDown gets the most viewers. I don't know. And it's like, you get decent ratings. Maybe. Just maybe if you try to give us a good show, you would get even bigger ratings. I'm gonna give it 3 out of 10. Everything felt like a filler. Nothing felt important. At all. Thank you for watching the video. As always, the great one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.